it's ultimately more important to the potential eventual success of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right, so what's the big news? The big news is that Tom Brady is now a Buck. That's crazy. The best player, maybe in sports, maybe the best athlete in sports, maybe the best uh, football player, professional, whatever, Tom Brady is now with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He has jumped ship on us, pun intended. That was cheesy. But now he's with the Bucks, and we have Bruce Arians is the head coach. And my thoughts on this is, my thoughts on this are, would Tom have ever gone to the Bucks had it not been for Bruce Arians being there? Listen to my argument here. I think that Bruce Arians is more important for the Bucks potential success and potential Super Bowl victories than Tom Brady. I think that Tom Brady, while a fantastic athlete um, and much better at decision making than Jameis Winston and is going to bring so much, I would say, success and credibility to that offense of Tampa Bay. I think really it's Bruce Arians and his knowledge of the game, he's right up there, I would say, with like Sean Payton and Andy Reid as far as like being one of those offensive gurus who you think about when you think about like the dudes that have an X and an O for everything imaginable in every single situation of a, of a football game. I think of Bruce Arians. And I think honestly that Bruce Arians being the reason that Todd Bowles, after no longer being the head coach of the Jets, com- coming over to be the defensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think all of those things are very important for this team. And if they're going to be a contender in the NFC South, and you know, think about this, they have to play the Saints, they have to play the Panthers, and they have to play the Falcons. The Falcons, great team on paper over the past couple of years, but have not been able to put it together. Panthers are obviously going to be in a rebuilding situation right now. And they have Teddy Bridgewater. What does that mean? Does that mean they're going to actually be good? Does it not mean they're going to be good? And then the Saints. And the Saints are the biggest question mark of it all because such a great talent and Drew Brees and offense, defense, they do great. But, you know, at this point, the window for that team being really successful under Drew Brees is closing. Um, And now if Drew Brees gets hurt, there's no Teddy Bridgewater there. There is Taysom Hill, of course. But I digress. The point is, Tampa Bay Buccaneers can win this division. And although the defense doesn't look great as far as the stats, that's because this defense had to deal with Winston constantly turning the ball over last year. This defense for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did really, really good as far as getting sacks, as far as, I think, in the pass, in, as far as defending the pass, I think they had a lot of pass breakups. Um, the reason the defense itself is not rated higher was because there's so many short fields for the opposing offenses. So Todd Bowles steps in and really makes that defense great. And Shaq Barrett getting all those sacks last year, that's evidence of great coaching there and great talent there. And so, you know, these great receivers are going to be here to stay for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. Tom Brady's going to be the one to not turn the ball over, you know, 30 times in one season. Actually, that's 30 interceptions. He fumbled quite a few times, too, Jameis Winston. So, ultimately, I asked this question to, to get, get your reaction and see what you think. Do you think Tom Brady or Bruce Arians is really the reason that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will have success? And maybe they won't have success. Maybe it'll be a dumpster fire. We'll see. It is Tampa. Um, no disrespect, Tampa fans. Um, but, you know, Bruce Arians brings a lot to that team. Tom Brady will bring a lot, too. Don't get me wrong. No hate on Tom Brady. He's fantastic. Um, And definitely makes a huge upgrade at the quarterback position. I don't care if you can throw 5,000 yards. Uh, The decision-making and leadership that Tom's going to bring is going to be huge. But would he have ever even come to the team if it wasn't for Bruce Arians being there? Imagine... Imagine uh, the Chargers and the Bucks are the, the two teams that are really engaged... With, with signing Tom Brady, what if the coaches were swapped? And the name of the Chargers coach is escaping my mind right now, but what if Bruce Arians was the head coach of the 
L.A. Chargers instead. Tom might be a Charger right now. We'll see. So I, 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 I asked this question, or I passed the question off to you. What do you think about Tom Brady versus Bruce Arians? Who is ultimately going to be more responsible for the success of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers?